thank you so much for coming to the channel. We're trying something new because I am filming another life right now up in Vancouver and I wanna keep getting content to you. So we're trying to come up with very easy episodes that we can like shoot in 30 minutes and get them out to you as fast as possible. So if you have any ideas for those episodes, leave them in the comments and we will, we will probably steal some of them. We will because we're not very creative. Today's episode, I am going to answer questions from my most watched episode, which is... Something just broke. It was just this fell on the ground. I ran a Spartan race. No. No? <laughs> Which one is it? How I trained for a Spartan race. Oh! How I trained for the Spartan race. <laughs> you guys, the questions were in the comments were largely positive, but it would be really boring for you and also a little egotistical if I just went through and was like, you rock, good job, Katie. Oh my God, superwoman. And I was like, I know. So instead, Robin has picked questions that are... Oh, some, some of them are good. More colorful? There are some more colorful ones. They're more colorful. And before we begin, make sure you like and subscribe and set those alerts just in case you hate this episode. Do it now. I'll give you a second. Thank you. <laughs> All right, and away we go, question one. Don't hate me, but I didn't like her as Starbuck. But man, do I like this actress as Katie. I suddenly want to see her in everything. It's very rare to hear someone like, I didn't like her as not, Starbuck. Not only didn't like her, but liked you better Me. than Starbuck, personally. Well, I'm a nice person. Star <laughs> Starbuck was not necessarily, I think she's someone you would like to drink with. And I think she's someone that you would want guarding your six. It's a military term. But I think all in all, like if we're going through the pros and cons of like a human being, I would like to think that I have her in spades. You've never seen it, you don't know. <clears throat> Those are the worst burpees I've ever seen. I know, they're awful. But the only rule is that you have to go down, your chest has to touch the ground, and you have to jump up and your hands have to be above your head and your feet have to leave the ground. That's it, that's it. There's no other qualifiers. It's just up. That's it. It could be the ugliest as mine were. No one in a Spartan race does proper burpees. They don't. Rambo, the Katie edition. Dude, that would be such a cool movie to do a female Rambo. That'd be like balls, but like in a good way. <laughs> like. That would, that would be like balls? Yeah. That was like a cool term when I was in high school. Really? Dude, balls. Yeah. Can you put it, use it in another sentence? That Ollie was balls, man. I, I feel like when I was in high school, that was a negative term. Was it? Yeah. You're like, ah, oh, balls. Well, like, yeah. I mean, I like, guess oh, it's, shit. it's sort of like the word because you can use it in a positive way. It can be an adjective. It can be a, it can be a noun. It could be a verb. No, it, it could be a noun. Well, if you named your kid. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. Your actor skills were never doing much for you anyways. <laughs> oh my God. The, if you guys haven't seen the thumbnail for this, it was something Robin came up with. Like my actor skills won't save me now or something like that. It's a great comment. It actually is a great comment. It's pretty funny. I've always loved everything you appeared in. You are the most underrated actor in the industry. So from one extreme to the next. <laughs> you suck ass. You're amazing, but nobody knows it. <laughs> okay. Older sister of Portman. Oh yeah. Of Natalie Portman? Yeah. yeah. We're the same age. That's I've never heard that I look like Natalie Portman I, that's before. That's why I chose that question. Cause I, wait, just stay still for a second. I'll add a picture of Natalie Portman next to you. No. I mean, people used to say Claire Danes all the time. I get that. I sometimes- wait, stay still again. <laughs> That'll be more clear to you. <laughs> I get Kate Blanchett a lot. I get that a lot. Again. I don't get anyone else a lot. Yeah. Well, Natalie Portman, we'll see. Yeah, I don't think so. I wanna see Katie doing knife throwing. 
I mean, so do I. I've never thrown a knife before. We've thrown axes like uh, no. Jason Momoa? Like Jason Momoa? No, I have not. Although I feel like I would be very good at that kind of stuff. Either very good or very bad. Well, look at this. It would either go right down the center or it would go behind me and murder someone on look accident. Look at the spear throw. That's, uh, that's similar. Yeah, like spoiler. I run a Spartan race. Spoiler alert. I miss the spear throw. I should, we should go throw some knives. We should find a knife place and throw some. Done. We should do that. Jiminy Cricket, you are flat out hilarious. Why, thank you. You need to do a comedy sometime. You really are so naturally funny. Thanks for making me laugh once again. Hope your race went well. Oh, that's sweet. Thank you. I don't get to do a lot of comedy because they think I just punch people in the face, which is fine. <laughs> I looked this up. The word actor is most often applied to a man, male, etc. The title of an actress is most often referring to a woman. Why does Hollywood have to screw up things? When we use these words, it gives up a better gives up a better understanding of the person. Anyway, I'm glad to see you pushing yourself to be your best. I wish the best for you. Oh, well, thank you for wishing me the best. That's really sweet. So I have actually never referred to myself ever as an actress, ever. I've always referred to myself as an actor. It's just, it's that's the way I've always referred to myself. To me, we shouldn't distinguish actor and actress. It's my opinion. The reason being, we don't call athletes athletas. They're just athletes right? Because male, female, they're both athletes. Doctors. Doctors. Scientists. We don't call them doc doctorettes. Also, it's unnecessary. If I was talking to you, I said, she's a great actor. I don't need to say actress. I said she. You or, said she. I'm a great actor. I don't need to say my gender. You're talking right. to me. Right. Agreed. For me, I don't agree that this is one of those things that Hollywood has screwed up. Um, there's a few, but I don't necessarily think it's this. And I think it's up to the opinion of whoever is, is referring to themselves. Um, but I have always called myself an actor. Next question. How funny. I was looking for Spartan training videos and this popped up. I live in Portland. I used to occasionally buy stuff from your parents at the Saturday market, small world. My parents have never been to the Saturday market. So I don't think that was my parents. My dad's a builder and my mom was a school teacher. So I don't think that you, that that's my parents, but cool that you live in Portland. You know, we got to represent P-Town. I wonder how that mistake was made. Like, was it just the assumption that it was my parents or did someone like actively say they were my parents? Could you imagine if there were people out there like, yeah, we're Katie Sackhoff's parents. And like, <laughs> just like acting like they were my mom and dad. I think that'd be really funny. Why is this video in my suggestions? Who is this person? Hi, my name is Katie Sackoff. I'm an actor. I have been working um, for quite a while, but you could see me in such titles as Battlestar Galactica, Longmire, Another Life on Netflix, Oculus, Riddick, Don't Knock Twice, The Big Bang Theory, Halloween Resurrection, 24, Robot Chicken. Boom. Bam. <coughs> At least he called me a person. A lot of times we're like, who is this chick? That happens a lot. Who is this chick? Call me sexist if you want. <laughs> Straight into that one. <laughs> Call me sexist if you want. Maybe I'm just old and nostalgic for my favorite childhood TV show that lasted for a year. But Dirk Benedict was a way better Starbuck. Richard Hatch was a better Apollo than that other guy. Can't even remember the other actor's name. Jamie Bamber. This is the funny thing about it. It's not necessarily sexist. You made it sexist. It's okay that you like Dirk Benedict's performance more than mine. Honestly, it really is. Like, being an actor is, it's completely subjective to the viewer. One person can see a performance and love it, and someone else can see a performance and absolutely hate it. And there's a myriad of gray in between that. So it's okay that you like Dirk Benedict more than me, 100%. And I'm so glad that you've got fond memories of watching Battlestar Galactica when you were a child, because a lot of people do. It was a good show. It was a good enough show that they remade it. But you came on my channel to tell me how much you didn't like something I did and how much you liked another person who did it 
better in your opinion. Like that's so strange to me that you would seek out someone and a platform to just tell them that you didn't like them very much. It's so weird to me. It's the kind of comment that belongs in a, in a forum. Oh, like a on forum, Reddit. like <laughs> someone else's forum, you know? Like I think that's one of the things that we've sort of lost in our society right now is that, you know, I truly believe <laughs> that freedom of speech is a beautiful thing, but freedom of speech should stop as soon as you become offensive and awful and know what's coming out of your mouth could potentially hurt someone else. That's just me. Like there's ways to say things that are much more palatable, if you will, that still allow you to express your freedom of speech, but don't overtly hurt somebody else because it's your right to do that. You know what I mean? This isn't necessarily that comment, but so many people in the world right now say things on both sides that are so mean and rude. And I just, I wish people would ask themselves first, is the world a better place? Because I'm gonna say this. What about you needs to say this so much that like you can't just shut up? You know what I mean? And what do you say to someone's face? Yeah. And like, if you'd say it to their face, that's totally fine. It's almost easier sometimes to have it said to the face because then you can have an actual debate. But when you hide behind social media and you hide behind avatars and you hide behind, you know, all of these crazy, like hidden channels in the web, you're literally like hate bombing someone and walking away because you can't have a conversation with someone after they've said something awful. They're, they're literally just like <laughs> bombing you and then leaving. That's not helpful to the world, you know? Like that's not polite, that's not kind, that's not freedom of speech, that's just being an asshole. Next question. Why am I watching this? I have never heard of this woman. I have never seen her on film. Heck, I'm so scatterbrained, I can't even remember her name. <laughs> but by golly, I'm learning something new with each video. Things I thought I would never find amusing, like periods come out of her mouth and entertain me. And no, a period doesn't come out of her mouth. Watch the video. <laughs> that was funny. Thank God a period doesn't come out of my mouth. That would be really... <laughs> I mean, listen, everybody believes, but <laughs> this is just a phenomenal comment. I love this. <laughs> I can't even remember her name, but by golly, I'm learning something with each video. That's all we wanted. That's the whole point of the channel was to just, you know, learn new things. Me, you, him, everyone. So yay, welcome to the channel. <laughs> I'm a longtime runner with over 30 years running experience. Running on the ball of your feet is a bad idea. The normal way to run is heel toe. Run like you walk. Marathoners do not run heel toe. And then also this person says that do not pump your arms when you run. It exerts more energy. Many die hard long time runners run with their arms relaxed and at their sides. It looks funny and feels funny when you first try it, but you save energy. You run with your arms at your sides, not pumping. I don't even know, what does that even look like? Really? Let's investigate. Okay. We couldn't find any videos of anyone that runs like that, that's a professional runner, none. So then <clears throat> we went to lifescience.com and saw this. The investigators explained that even though arm swinging costs energy, not swinging the arms during running would cost even more energy. Arm swinging reduces torso motion and the torso accounts for 40 to 50% of the body's weight, whereas both arms account for only about 10% of the body's mass. When you constrain arm swing, the spine twists and rotates in compensation. Over the long term, that could be very hard on the spine. And also, I used to run heel toe. I did. That's how I ran for years, was heel toe, heel toe, heel toe. Try running heel toe without tennis shoes on. You can't, it hurts. But if you run on the ball of your foot, you can run outside barefoot. And so that is 
partially part of the science behind it is that you know we've built these shoes to accommodate running with bad form because we're running out on cement and everything but if you took the shoe off if you took the band-aid off and you went running you would have to run on the ball of your feet second katie video in a row with tampons the other was cryotherapy with trisha talk about product placement and we're not sponsored I promise you. You mean we're not sponsored by periods? I wish we were sponsored by periods. Or tampons? Because there's so many. There's so much money in the period game. I would like some of it. Here's this one. When I was 18 years old, I did an OB tampon commercial and I was so weirded out by no applicator that when they asked me if I wanted a year's worth of OB tampons, I said no. I don't believe you. The feeling, the feeling of OB, designed by a woman doctor for a feeling so clean, there's nothing you can't do. Clean is the feeling of OB. Guys, I mean girls, I'm not talking to the guys. Girls, ladies, women. It's just, you just shove it in there. You know, be comfortable with your bodies. If you're gonna use tampons, use the non-applicator kind, because it cuts down on waste, right? but we should all use the Diva Cup or something along those lines, right? Which I still haven't tried. I own it, I brought it with me. <sighs> Talking about shoving stuff up your vagina. I'm a little weirded out by it. I'll get there. I promise I will do it at some point. I wonder how many times you promise now. Like nine. Technically, I've never used this. I'm a little intimidated. I've had it for over a year, but I promise I will. You guys are gonna hold me accountable. I also promised you guys that I would try the K-Cup or the Dixie Cup or the Cuppity Cup Cup that goes in your Vajujo. I haven't done it yet. I'm intimidated. I'm a freaking hypocrite. I know it. I'm sorry. I'll do it. I promise. <sighs> it's in the kitchen right now because you gotta boil it first. It's literally in the kitchen. Yeah, it's officially out of the box. This is the biggest step I've made in five years. It's out of the box. I'll leave it out of the box. I'm gonna put it right, I'm gonna put it in its little baggie. I'm gonna put it in its little baggie. We're gonna boil it and I'll let you know how it goes. Next question. The guy from TriFit never removed his sunglasses. When sun outdoors or indoors, he doesn't remove them or he can't remove them. <laughs> he did keep them on the whole time. They must be prescription. I thought they were cool. I think they're cool too. They're very expensive. They're very expensive to try and then decide you don't like them. And like, that's the thing with the Spartan Race. Like, I don't wanna buy equipment that I know I'm not gonna use. And if you do use it, you only use it like when you race. Yeah. So you don't get that much. That's why he's probably wearing them. Because he's like, I'm gonna get I'm my getting... money's worth out of these damn glasses. <laughs> it's true, it's true. Oh, Bernard, I like him very much. I thought you were the woman from Terminator for some reason, LOL. But no, now, no, now, now I know you're in Star Wars and Halo. I like you even better. Is this person talking about the new Terminator? Like Mackenzie? I think we should assume she's talking about Linda Mackenzie. Hamilton. Mackenzie, or Linda Hamilton? Who's Mackenzie? From the new Terminator we just watched. Remember Mackenzie? The tall oh. blonde with the short hair, like the Starbuck hair? I didn't I even think, think about that. I thought she was I, talking about Linda no, Hamilton. No, I think she's talking about Mackenzie. Oh, yeah, no. I can see that. Both I actually they're both, they're both compliments. I could totally see that. Women. Mackenzie was badass in Terminator. She was so good. <laughs> I love seeing women in action movies that legitimately look like they could hurt somebody. I'm so over seeing wimpy women in action movies. It drives me nuts. It's one of my biggest pet peeves. And so I, I, Mackenzie did like beautiful job. Awesome. Get rid of those aviator glasses, please. Why? Aviators are my jam. I wear aviators all the time. They're the, my only, that's the only glasses I wear. They complement my face very well. Plus they're incredibly light and I'm prone to getting headaches from wearing sunglasses and glasses. And all of mine are prescription and Ray-Bans do prescription sunglasses, which is great. And they're all polarized for fishing. So yeah, no, she's a bit too much. I am. Next. Actor equals wannabe. Huh, all right. Then I responded, after a 25 year career that's still going strong, I think I can be upgraded to actor. 
And then they responded, I love your work, I think you're hot. With that said, as an actor, with that said, an actor is someone just playing a character. It's just pretend. Nothing to do with you, but I'm tired of so-called actors giving me their political view or trying to tell me what I should think. So this is one of those situations where somebody, and this happens quite a bit, where somebody reaches out and they say something like, really super negative, and I'm in a cheeky mood, and therefore I respond in said cheeky way. <laughs> And then they respond back and they apologize, but they basically give me the disclaimer of, oh, well, you know, I wasn't serious and I love you and blah, blah, blah. And it's so funny to me because it's like, I think people get so like trigger happy with their computer screens and they're, they see something and then like they think something and they're like, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> like they don't even think about it. And then when the person sees it, they're like, oh shit, I didn't think they'd actually see it. Just because you have a blue check next to your name, people think you shouldn't express your opinions, political opinions, social opinions. They think that you should keep your mouth shut and do what you're paid to do. Your job is not who you are and we're entitled to opinions and you don't have to subscribe to them. And if, if you don't like it, then you don't have to watch their stuff. No one's making you. Next. No, you are a deluded Hollywood actress with no idea of how real people live. Also, my granny could kick your ass. Bring her on. I'll cut a bitch. I'm kidding. I won't cut your grandma. I promise. I won't, I won't cut your grandma. Do I have a blessed life? 100%. Do I ever lose sight of that and become ungrateful? No. I'm 40 years old. I haven't lived under a rock. I've experienced hardship and pain and loss and struggle. It's relative to me, but people seem to think that actors don't have any problems and therefore they can't possibly understand what it's like to be a normal person if that helps your narrative but it's not true if it was true my mother would kick my ass like she my mom would line up right behind your granny if i was that delusional my mom would be like hold my earrings she would she definitely would she would as would your mother a Canadian and all. She'd be real nice about it though. She'd be super nice about really it. And she'd polite. say she was sorry at the end. Yeah. But she would, she would cut a bitch. F what? W-O-T. What does W-O-T mean? And then a timestamp. New slash, women bleed out of their vaginas. Sorry, that's horrible. <laughs> Please don't put that in there. New slash, Women still bleed out of their vaginas. It's never gonna stop. I'm sorry if that bothers you. Grow up. <laughs> I never liked women with muscles. This, is, this one's off to a good start. So Rambo style fitness regimen doesn't make a sexy girl to me, but taste is personal. So if it makes you happy, go for it. Well, thank you for giving me the permission. I wonder though, Aren't you developing too much of a macho girl image for your acting, limiting your appeal to filmmakers? If I was casting for Cinderella right now, I wouldn't think of you right now. No offense intended. Okay, qualifier. But if I was going to cast for a tough female to fight aliens or replace Linda Hamilton in Terminator, Dark Noodle, definitely, you catch my drift. My suggestion is for you to keep a broad appeal. I just, it's even hard for me. It's just hard for me to comment. Why can't Cinderella have muscles? Why? Because we have this unrealistic expectation of what an animated character should look like. I think that we should spend less time projecting what we think women should be or anyone should be for that matter. And more time realizing that nothing limits anyone from playing any role except imagination. So, next question. Way too much TMI for a guy. Guys don't share stories of jock itch, that's for sure. Yeah, they do. What are you talking about? 
Guys are awful. They're awful. We got guys talking in a locker room about grabbing girls in the pussy. Come on. <laughs> like, men say the worst things. And it is socially acceptable because they're just being guys. When a woman talks about something that she can't avoid, that is beautiful and natural and gives her the ability to create life, which is magical. When a woman talks about that, in some way, it's gross. It can't. The running education is so helpful. <sighs> Positive comment. <laughs> You're welcome. Never understood willingly torturing oneself. Never really understood trig either. <laughs> I'm assuming both have their uses though. Hope you, hope you win, kid. I never made it to trigonometry either. I got out of algebra one and I was like, it's okay, I'm gonna be an actor. I don't need algebra two. I remember when actors spent more time developing their craft than they did in a gym. When, like when in time. I still spend a legitimate amount of time on my craft, but the gym is part of it. I actually think that actors work harder now than they used to, you know? I have every one of these memorized right now. Every single one of these scripts memorized 100% right now. And I also went for a hike today. You're welcome. Such a bitch. I'm with you. Running sucks. Fred Ward's Ward Word. Fred Ward Fred Ward said it best in the movie Tremors. Running is what you do when a plan fails. Too shay. Once a month periods and being an athlete, the struggle is real, people. Thank you so much for saying this because it's so true. <laughs> it is true. You guys, I've been an athlete since I I mean, like as long as I can remember. I got my period for the first time when I was at a state swim meet out of the state. I was in California by myself without my mom and it was five minutes before my race. It's crazy sometimes as an athlete, the things that we put our bodies through and having a period is just one of the things that you know, we have to deal with and that, that so many people in the world have to deal with. And you know, the struggle is real. <laughs> but I'm gonna try this Diva Cup. That's promise number 10 and hopefully it works. We'll see. I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Thank you everyone for watching. I really appreciate that. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, set those notifications, and leave a comment, you guys. Let me know what you liked about it, what you didn't like about it. And then remember, I asked you to leave recommendations for videos that I can film in 30 minutes or less while I'm filming another life because I don't have any. <laughs> free time. If we used your comment, I'm sorry if I was mean back, but them's the apples. Mm. How do you like them apples? How do you like them apples? Mm. And I do it with a Boston <clears throat> accent. I don't know how to do a Boston at Boston. I don't know how to do a Boston accent. That's, I don't know what that is. That's like, Jer that's like Jersey. Say ka. Ka. Get in the car. Get in the car. I can say Worcester, because I shot a movie in Worcester, Worcester, Massachusetts. Yeah, but I can't say, how you like them apples? That's why they make dialect coaches. Bye guys, have a good one. I remember, you guys, there was this time, I don't remember who it was, and it's a guy that I was friends with or acquaintances with at some point, and I, I specifically remember him saying that he called off his engagement with his fiance because he couldn't spend his life lying to her about how good of an actress she was. And I remember thinking, oh my God, that's horrible. You're such an ass. That's why, but, I, that's why I haven't watched That's why you haven't watched any of my stuff. <laughs>